What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today we're going to be looking at Hermit Stew, issue number 5, and Afterlife. Good lord, these comics are fucking hella good man. Uh, the homie Eric Chavez continuously gets stronger. Hermit Stew, by far, uh, such a fun comic to read. And especially when you get to know the homie Eric and you can see his cartooning getting stronger. And I just want to show some of the panels that really stood out to me. This panel right here, one of the things that the homie is doing, he's getting so good with just showing motion. It's some of the stuff that I wish I would get better at. So like that punch right there looks really good. Him flying through the air, hitting the wall, that's fucking tight. This right here, hella good. This kick right here is another one that I liked a lot. And he's been doing a lot of panels like this and they just, they're getting better and stronger. You see him leaning into that motion just way better, man. It's fucking solid. Love this splash page right here. Fucking dig it, man. With the building in the back and all that good shit. And lastly, this panel right here with fucking the frat boys all fucking beat up. One of the things I like about it though, it's like a slice of life, but like for punkers and something that I continuously dig, right? Like the hero is string bean. And it's such a weird universe that the homie has concocted. The homie has created this. And from day one, I remember the first ones with him going to the flea market, all that. It really spoke to that kind of community and culture. And it's just so good, man. The energy is so good. I will say that this issue, although it has this like fight scene, it's a really dark issue, man. Uh, the beginning storyline is about a youth coming of age. And, and then the parent... Uh, you know, forgetting what it is to be young and forgetting what it is to kind of come of age and like try to understand the world from your own perspective. I thought that the homie really wrote that whole portion of it really fucking well. And, you know, never mind the fight scene and all that stuff that was going on, but like that for me, uh, uh, narrative wise, fucking stole the show, man, off the back. And after that, we got Hermit Stew Afterlife. This was a one shot. String Bean story, uh, String Bean goes to watch Ghostbuster Afterlife with his mom. This story is amazing. I loved a lot of the uh, Ghostbuster fan art stuff. Really spoke to me. And going back to that point about the homie Eric Chavez's cartooning, it's getting stronger and stronger, man. This one right here as well, like there's so many callbacks to the movie. Love this uh, double page spread right here. Look at that panel right there. Like, even his use of color, like, it's just, it's so good, man. Him melting, I thought was tight. There's one that he does quite often, this little psychedelic one. But he does it so fucking good, man. So fucking good. But this story right here is kind of more of that lighthearted, fun stuff that I was talking about with Hermit Stew. And so, it's kind of, it was good to read them both together. Because, like I said, this one, Hermit Stew number five, a little heavy, a little dark. And then this one's more lighthearted and just fun. Uh, both of them narratively are fucking strong though, man. Like the homie... And you know what? Let me read that as well. So the homie put this in issue 5. He says, Hey, hello. If you're reading this now, thank you. We appreciate you. The book is really starting to flow and gel in so many unexpected ways. It's all making sense to me now. Hope it's showing through in the story. You know, I've been meeting a lot of fellow comic creators, which has opened my eyes to how dope underground comics are at the moment. So much creativity and no one looks the same. Seems like everyone came out of quarantine with a vengeance. Love the energy. Next issue, gonna try to juggle a big cast of characters. Could get messy. It'll be a party either way. LOL. Ugga Chavez. Love that as well. It's definitely true that there's a, there's a really strong community right now creating underground comics. Homie Eric Chavez is definitely one of them. Probably one of my favorites. Him and Bob Bummer are two cartoonists that like I absolutely dig what they're doing. And like I said, a lot of it's more the attitude and the style and then the narrative choices that I really identify. So if you haven't peeped out Hermit Stew, man, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and get a copy of this shit. I will put a link for the homie's information in the show notes. Beyond that, you guys, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, and do all that other good shit. And if you want some of the underground comics that I make, go ahead. There'll be a link in the show notes for my stuff as well. All right, you guys. Lates.